Hi, everybody. Thanks again for joining us. We're here into round four. Timer has already started, uh, so let me get that going, and then we'll bring the overlay up. Uh, just give me a moment here. Okay, let's go ahead and hyper ourselves into the battle zone. There we go. So, oh, that's funny, that didn't refresh yet. Interesting. Sorry, just give me a second here, guys. They, uh, they went ahead and started without me, just bear with me. Yeah, and that's still not it. What's going on here? I just gotta refresh. Oh, that's great. All right, bear with me a minute, folks. Okay, I just about got this up and then we'll go over each, everybody's lists. Hopefully I haven't missed any of the action yet. Okay, there we go. I got the timer fixed. Let's go ahead and get ourselves into the battle zone now. Ha <laughs> ha! Huzzah! Great success. Yes! Okay. Thanks, everybody, for joining us here in round four. We are pushing hard to get things finished off today. We're coming on 3.30-ish uh, local time. So, uh, I'm not sure which one is player one. We'll sort that out in a minute. So we have on our left side uh, Paul Saborin Herzog. Um, a Blue Squadron Scout with Tactical Officer Leia and the Pivot Wing. Braylon in a B-Wing. Crack Shot, Fire Control, Jamming Beam for Disrespect. Tenum, Crack Shot, um, Fire Control, and Jamming Beam for Disrespect. And Dutch with Proton and R3. Uh, Andrew, uh, rocking a Kylo with Hate. Tabson. Vanilla, empty, and Star Killer Base Pilot, Vanilla, empty. Um, this gives him a grand total of 197. Paul is 200 even. I'm just gonna make an adjustment to make those a little more viewable for everybody. There we go, that ought to help. Oh, that's way better. Yes, Raven, B-Wings, go, go! Okay, so... This should be interesting. Really trimmed down. Uh, Kylo and Tavson here. It looks like they are kind of fortressed. <laughs> Andrew Bunn having a little bit of trouble with his ships here. Paul giving him a bit of a hand. That's what I'm talking about, the good sportsmanship that all just goes around at these sort of events.
was an interesting, weird little fortress that Andrew had going on. Pushing Kylo to the outside of the board. Interesting. That was, oh, that was a coordinate from the look of it. Or maybe not. Nope. Oh, maybe it was. Oh, that's right. And then. Kind of what I expected there. Now this, uh, Paul's is a bit of a variation on the rebel beef. <laughs> Go Paul, he says. Yeah, I agree. Paul, Paul's got some beef and uh, I'm not a fan of the first order lately. They ain't my jam. And get a double target lock because of our three astromech. I mean, technically he should measure. Um, that is one way to get a bit more information out of the board, is do those measures. Ah, uh, here we go, now he's coming. Yeah, that's what I thought, he's gonna scooch him around. He's just gonna sort of scooch him around the outside of the board edge, it looks like. And Kylo, don't joust. Not against rebel beef like that. It's not a good idea. On a scale of good to bad ideas, that is definitely a bad idea. He's got his other B-Wing up beside Dutch. I can neither confirm nor deny uh, the Ill illegal border crossing may or may not have happened. <laughs> Wow, whoever's sitting at the table next to them is just shaking his foot, something fierce. Oh, that's actually the guy at the table behind them. Holy crap. <laughs> so, not a lot of space there. Not a lot of space. Hmm. I really like these Rebel Beef builds with the B-Wings in them. Um, I've been really loving uh, the, B the second edition B-Wing. Um, the Talon Rolls, or sorry, the, not the Talon Rolls, the Sloops, and its uh, ability to K-turn so short is just so good. It just feels like it was designed to be built with Leia. Like, take advantage of the fact that you can do all of that red for white. Right, Paul's dials down. Andrew's still waiting on 
his Kylo there. He's still not sure what to throw down on that. I don't blame him, honestly. Like, Admittedly, I don't feel like Paul's gonna push in. Ah, uh, you missed nothing, Ray. No. <laughs> no. Um, round three ended with uh, a blowout. Um, the six Rebel A-Wings just tore the snot out of their opponent. Or re six Resistance A-Wings. Uh, is that what I said? I thought I said that. Maybe I didn't. There we go, so uh, shuttle slow rolling. Uh, we got the U-Wing coming around with Leia. Mm, he's got a good lineup on that piece of debris there. I don't think that's where he wants to be, though. Okay, he's gonna coordinate an action. Looks like a focus of Dutch. Right, those, re those resistance A-Wings are just awesome. Six resistance A-Wings with uh, Heroic is just amazing. Makes me want to pick up four more resistance A-wings. So attempting to coordinate. Uh, it looks like he's gonna move that from, so he's gonna coordinate from Tabson to the Starkiller base pilot. Oh, he's thinking on it. Maybe he won't. He is instead going to acquire a target lock on that piece of debris, on that gas cloud. All right, and then Paul moving is that Braylon or Tenum? Hold on, guys. I'm just going to figure out which one is which so I can let you know. All right, so Tenum is in the front. Looks like he's got that uh, fancy special red B-Wing that you get with the uh, old Rebel Aces set. And uh, Braylon is trucking along behind, doing his thing. He's simply gonna focus. Dutch moving on up. Kylo skirting the edge of the board like a uh, good Kylo should. Sorry about that, guys. There we go. Oh, is that just short? No, it looks like it is on the debris or on that gas cloud. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, it was just beside it. It was that little flat bit. <laughs> Very nice, very nice. And just gonna barrel roll him out. That's the right way. Oof. Ooh, oof. I'm, I'm gonna call it here. I'm gonna say Andrew's gonna bring this home. Those two shuttles and Kylo coming in on the flank on these guys, that is not good news. Uh, ooh, 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 they're just measuring. Does Kylo get it? So it looks like he does get it. Three dice going in. Uh, oh, best strat, roll that. And that is a blank and a focus and an evade. He's gonna turn up for two and evade one. Now that was a, an obstructed range three shot, which is what we're looking at there. Thank you, Andrew. All right, and then shooting back, one hit. Kylo, five dice. 
Oh, he gets a one of eight. Oh. <laughs> that was close. Wow, that was all the shots this round. So now we're back to dials. 56-ish minutes to go. Within a few seconds anyway. Very interesting. This should be really, this should be a really good match, I hope. And uh, wow, we're back up to 36 viewers. Thanks, everybody. Looks like uh, 18 on Twitch, 18 on the YouTubes. Yeah, good point. The Gas Cloud Evade would have pushed it up as well. Gas Cloud Auto Thrusters, go! Andrew's just getting his dials down. I think he's got one more left. Looks like Paul is just dialing in his last one there. Oh no, he's still got both the B-wings. Hmm, interesting. Now the question is, is he gonna turn on Kylo? Ah, oh, you're welcome, Kentium. And well, thank you for watching. We really appreciate you guys uh, and enjoying what we do. I, I have fun making it, and uh, it makes me feel good when you guys have fun watching it. Uh, I think this is actually the first time uh, a hyperspace or a regionals or any event like this has actually been streamed in Vancouver. So I'm, I'm pretty happy to be the first one to be doing this for, the, uh, for this location. Uh, this is this is round five now. Just double checking. Yeah, it's round five now, right? Four? Oh, never mind. No, nope, never mind. Round four. Round four. Apparently, I was napping. <laughs> so we still got two more rounds for the day. And we're probably going to be here till eight o'clock ish at least, uh, and then of course we'll be doing uh, the top cut for tomorrow. What's up, bud? Aw, thanks, Ray. And we love you too, bud. <laughs> District Foundry, why have I why do I feel like I've heard of you guys before? Oh, you guys are one of the makers on Etsy. Oh yeah, duh. I, I follow you guys uh, um your Etsy page and stuff, so awesome. Thanks for joining us. And actually, I'm probably gonna be reaching out to you guys soon to get some of your, uh, uh, those horizontal upgrade uh, dividers, because these those are super good. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Rebel Beef. Well, here, let, let, me, let me give you a quick breakdown on uh, the lists that came today. We have 19 Rebel lists. Of that, most of them are Rebel Beef. Uh, we have eight Imperial, eight Republic, uh, six First Order, four Resistance, three Scum, and two Separatists. So let's just say that uh, Rebel's on top right now, and uh, 
I don't. I expect Leia to probably get a bump on the next pass. <laughs> More like Bun is the hero. Can't argue with that. Cannot argue. Nice. The K turn's happening. Looking, I'm just trying to look on his cards here. It looks like, did I see him pop Leia? I must have, I just not seen it. Yeah, he had to have popped Leia, otherwise there, there wouldn't be enough stress going around. Ooh, tight, is he gonna make it? Ooh, yep, looks like it. Close. Yeah, good point. It's, it's hard, was hard for me to tell at first whether that stress was just hiding under the shadow or not, but uh, looks like we're good. And Kylo being like, hmm, how about a whole lot of nope? And getting the hell out of there. I, ooh, I don't think he's gonna get shot at even. Holy smokes, Andrew just, Flying Kylo flat out. Andrew's thinking real hard. I know, all these little target locks. Boop, doop, doop. And Kylo's like, yeah, nope, 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 nope. It's a whole lot of nopes. Uh, it's 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 fine. Oh, it's off. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we're uh, we're in a very large convention hall right now with uh, a whole bunch of other gamer types as well. So there's some Kings of War going on, some 40K, uh, Age of Sigmar, uh, a whole bunch of freaking awesome stuff happening. And we're not the only streamers here too. Uh, Dutch Coat, yes, we are on Twitch as well. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Geek Tech Industries. If you want to check us out, give us a follow. Wow, you know what? I, I feel like he was listening to you because there goes the barrel roll. Oh, he's going to push it back? <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> and there's the boost. Good call, Kentium, wow. Yeah, Geek Tech Industries, all one word. You got it, Dutch. Or, I hope I'm spelling that right. <laughs> I hope I'm saying that right. Oh, Kylo's going after Leia. Oh my God, it's like a reenactment of The Last Jedi here. Oh, God damn. Three hits, straight up. And that's just one. Cool, we'll see you on Twitch in a bit, Kentian. So that is two down on Leia's ride. Or is that only one? Oh, that was only one. That was only one, my bad. Hey, District Foundry, hey, that's you. There you go. Oh, three hits again. Very nice. Turning it up. 
And so that's one. <laughs> Patrick's still here. How did I know? Oh boy. Here it comes. Ooh, not a great torp shot. Gonna spend that Target. He probably should have left the focus. Uh, now he's gonna spend that into four hits. Um, we are round four of six rounds today. So we're past the halfway point. We're getting there. We're tr trucking to the end here. And he's gonna spend one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you kinda are, Pat. Oh, looks like that Upsilon has a range three on either of them. Just a second, guys. All right, so that Torp brought shields down on Kylo. And it looks like Dutch lost his shields as well. Oh, I missed that one. So that was two more down on Leia's ride. Two hits into there. Oh, two of it. like nothing. Okay, Leia is shields down. We got a full hell uh, Braylon, a full hell 10 num, and looks like Dutch has lost a shield. Uh, Kylo has lost shields on the other side, uh, but neither of neither of the Star Killers have yet. Or sorry, neither of the shuttles have lost any yet. <laughs> you got it, Rafa. Yeah, cut is tomorrow. Um, we will be here tomorrow as well with all of the top cut. Oh, come on, guys, scoop your dice. I know you can't hear me, I'm too far away. Or at least they're not on top of a ship. Well, that did not go as well for Paul as he would have liked, I don't think. Uh, he's got two full health shuttles bearing down on him now. Um, this, this is gonna be harder than he might want it to be. I feel like it's gonna convince me to pick up another Epsilon shuttle though. <laughs> hey, Chris Allen, good to see you. Uh, looks like you're a fan of the bun. They are, they're ridiculously cheap. Like 56 and 62 for 12 hit points and four, uh, four attack dice, blah! <laughs> oh God, I wish they were that cheap up here, man. We gotta, we gotta pay the Canuckistan tax where everything costs 40% more. <laughs> That's a, there you go, Dutch and Patrick both agree. Apparently Gordon is the worst, whoever Gordon is. Congratulations, Gordon, you're the worst. It's official. There you go, he is the worst, all right. <laughs> Right? We, we'll, pay, we'll gladly pay you double your Amazon price on that. Oh, stay on target host, nice. Ah! 
oh shit, I got all the uh, 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 folks coming out. This is great. I feel so special. Oh, <laughs> I did not expect that. Yeah, but sometimes that means the special in a retarded kind of way. And now I'm going to get in trouble for using that word. Special in a special needs kind of way. There you go. I apologize for the retard comment. <laughs> no, it's true. We just, we get, we get in, uh, you know, into the man cave on a Saturday and we're like, hey, wonder what's going on with the streams. And if you guys are interested, Sundays, that's when Geek Tech Industries is on. Come and join us. Uh, we're usually live about 2 o'clock Pacific time. I know, right? Things are getting real. He's getting too warm. He's cooling down here. <laughs> Mariano, it's true. No, no filter. No filter. And I have a, a distinct habit of being like, mmm, foot in my mouth. <laughs> Love the taste of soul of my shoe. I wonder if he's going to push him through there. It's true, it's true. I mean, part of the reason he's so family safe is that uh, I understand he's a, a bit of a religious man as well, which I don't judge, but that ain't me. Can he get it in there? Oh, it's going over. It's going over. Oh man, that's not what I, I expected some, I expected him to just push through that as opposed to turning towards the ups. I don't know, I don't know how to feel about that. I think, I feel like that was the wrong choice. <laughs> you guys, oh man. Comment section is best section. I know you guys can't see it because it's just the top down from the camera, but uh, that look of intense concentration on Andrew's face right now, I feel like he's gonna like shank somebody. Oh, District, oh, District, why you gotta play us like that, mud? See, that's why I do both. Uh, we do the YouTube and the Twitch, because, you know, we like both. Uh, play properly, I think you mean have a beer and watch an X-Wing game. Hashtag fix that for you. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I know what you under I know what you mean. I know what you mean about it. Uh, about Twitch just generally running a little better on older hardware. See, I, 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 just, I, I figure go for the best of both worlds, and that's why I stream on both. Ooh, out of range. Pretty much, I don't know, I don't see an evade token there. 
<laughs> so it looks like three hits. Into a big fat, oh, Winnevade. So that was, which one is that, Tabson? Mm, can't tell. Hold on a second, guys, gotta double check which one that was. All right, so yep, that was Tabson. Just took two, and uh, he's spending the charge to take a target lock. There we go. Yep. Yeah, I just went over to confirm as well. I'm about uh, 10 to 15 feet away from the uh, actual table itself. Uh, keeps me from, you know, saying some dumb shit and uh, accidentally giving away strategy. Oof. So that is four versus Zilch. Oh, and a face up. Oh, can't see it. But that's four on Dutch, and then I'll find out which crit that is. Well, that was the worst crit in the history of crits that uh, Dutch could pull up. That was a structural damage. Oh, boy. And he's gonna reroll that with the target lock. And that's four hits into Leia's ride. And one, two, four. Not quite dead yet. One left. And it looks like he's gonna have three back versus one. So that's two more on the Starkiller base pilot in this case. There we go. Right, those B-Wings are gonna have to step it up. They got, they got a job to do and they ain't doing it. Personally, I think his mistake was chasing Kylo. Um, I would have probably pushed in on Tabson or the Star Killer. Uh, you, you're gonna take a bunch of damage like he just did, but you're gonna feed a whole whack load of damage back. And uh, I feel like that was a mistake, not killing those uh, two gigantic bludgeons out here in the middle of the board. I know, that's what Kylo wants. That's, that's exactly what Bun wanted was come chase me which is why he skirted the edge of the board so close. Um, it just, a, it was a, a red herring, a total red herring. I mean, at this point, we're gonna lose Leia in a minute. And I'm pretty sure Dutch is going down hard. Dutch got one of his torps off, so at least there's that. Ooh, I should catch that up too. Exactly. B-wings are just too slow, too slow. I mean, they're great, but you got a one forward to victory with your B-wings. <laughs> Dutch never really dies. No one ever really le literally leaves. Q Palpatine cackle. Oh, I wish I could come down. I can't get the time off. Yep, and exactly what I thought would happen here. Just a bump from the Star Killer.
Yeah, I agree. Tabson's going to get up and block Finn. Oh. <laughs> I'll, let him, I'll let him know. I'll let him know after the match. Oh, stop turn. It's still touching, still range zero. Man, you guys are just mean. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a Matthias. The camera's a little bit high, but uh, it's where it needs to be in order to catch the whole board. <laughs> you'll, you'll have to give him grief about that later. Oh, good call. There's the bump on... Uh, Tendum. It looks like Tendum's got a shot on the Star Killer at least, but it's going to be unmodded. Dutch. What's he got there? Looks like a forward two. Oh, bang. hard turn two. Oh, right on. He's coming around. Do it. Do it. Target locking. And yeah, that's what he should do is get into, you got it. Get into that guy. See if you can PS kill him. Oh, and then Dutch allows him to move his target lock. Um, yeah, I would not be surprised. This is a perfect time for Kylo to turn in. Uh, those shuttles are just in the way, causing a problem. Uh, I could definitely see Kylo doing that hard turn two, take the target lock boost. He's sure not scared of Dutch right now. Actually, I could, I could see him pacing Dutch before Dutch gets a chance to uh, drop that torque. Oh, and Braylon Stram. One of my favorite pilots back when he was in an arc. And there we go, Kylo, hard turn two. Clears the stress. Now you were saying barrel roll and target lock. I personally, I see a boost. I see target lock boost on Dutch and I see him just ruining that. I think the, I think the, yeah, I think the uh, bank boost to the left is still going to get him out of arcs. And we are just under 30 minutes left in round four. Oh, no, you're right. He is definitely, oh, look at that. Barrel roll, target lock. Wow, it's like you guys have played against this guy before. No, it's true. He totally is putting on a clinic right now. This is 100% like Dr. Bun is in the house. Woof. And there we go. He target locks that. And he's going to spend one of his force to turn it up for two. And there's one more, and that is a dead layup. Leia's ride done crashed. <laughs> Press F for respects. So it looks like Dutch is dropping his second torque. Yeah, 
Yeah, pretty average roll for a Torp. So two hits already, and a two more. And a crit turns up from that. And the shuttle says, I like it. And that is all shields down on the Star Killer. He's finally got some points. And then 10, um, looks like that's, I would call that a range three. They're gonna template that other up shuttle there. Right? And he's like, no, Mr. Kylo, let me take it. Ah! <laughs> Mary Poppins into another ship, totally right. Um, I'm not surprised. Leia is way more of a problem with those two B-wings around. Dutch has a single torp, which is, at worst, going to strip shields on the Star Killer, and that's it. Star Killer is going to spend his focus for two and take. Oh, what was that crit? Still can't see it. Hold on. I'll get that caught up in a second. I agree, Kylo should be able to take two Vs alone, especially because he's got uh, a pilot initiative on him. Oh, blinded, thank you. I couldn't read it. So we got hit crit, and another hit and a focus. So hit, hit, crit. And that is done like dinner. Goodbye, Dutch. Because with structural damage, ain't nothing he can do. All right, so that last that Star Killer doesn't have a shot. We move into end phase, and we're back to planning. Oh yeah, this is this is going down real fast now. Um, Paul hasn't managed to take any ships down. He's got half on Starkiller base pilot, but he hasn't significantly hurt Kylo. And Tabson is still just fine. Uh, the First Order is just so aggressive. Uh, they've got fantastic ability to just dish damage so hard. I think, I think Paul's biggest problem was that he chased Kylo to start. Uh, personally, I would have pushed them up. Uh, I wouldn't have turned them in where they were going. I'd have brought them up uh, in about where that Star Killer base pilot is now, and would have just fed one of those shuttles every single shot I could. Because they they are there to tank for Kylo, so take that shit away. <laughs> Wait, there's a different type of glasses? All right, just gonna get caught up on who's got all the damage, make sure I got it right. Bye, Dutch. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> wow, 20 minutes left. Uh, Braylon and Temnum still fresh, but damn. That freshness is not going to last. They are not in a Ziploc. Need some Rubbermaid containers to keep these guys in, keep them fresh. Oh, yeah. 
Wow, Bun just really showing us how to use these up shuttles effectively. Uh, bait with Kylo, and uh, uh, yeah, Ray, six rounds total. So we're on round four, we got two more for the day. Oh, there was still a target lock hanging out from when Dutch was still alive. <laughs> And then tomorrow, tomorrow I think we're cutting at top eight, uh, and then we'll be going from there. Uh, actually, Graham slash Drea uh, is at table two right now. Him and uh, our good friend Michael Carpenter, uh, both from the island, are representing hard right now. They are currently uh, both undefeated. So I'm so proud. Uh, yeah, sorry, the island is uh, Victoria on Vancouver Island. Uh, Graham and some of the guys are actually from a little further north on the island. Um, Courtney Comox, uh, Campbell River area. We got, got a whole bunch of players from, the, uh, from uh, Vancouver Island over here today, so. And actually, all of them are doing very well. Which is weird, because usually, like, we, we don't usually fly a whole lot of meta. We don't usually fly a whole lot of whatever's hot. We just sort of go, hey, this looks like garbage, let's do it. And it turns out the garbage will do. Tenum is in a bad spot. Oh, you're calling it three bank right for Kylo? I, ooh. yeah, probably. He's only got four hit points left. Um, Bun doesn't need to take risks. He can just do what he needs to do to maintain margin. Uh, both of these players are uh, currently undefeated as well. Uh, so they are uh, currently 3-0. and oh. So we actually have a, re a, a goodly number of uh, undefeated players so far. Um, a little, a little. Um, Michael, Michael Carpenter was almost good enough, uh, like was gonna be on table one again because he was doing so well. And I was like, what? No, he's already been on stream. Somebody else, please. And so we, we brought uh, Paul and Andrew on here, apparently so that Andrew can uh, put on a clinic. Thank you, Dr. Bunn. Yeah, that's not what I thought was gonna happen either. Oh, you were expecting the three bank left. You were expecting aggressiveness? Yeah, no, I, I was expecting a three bank right and then a boost. Um, it looks like he is still gonna boost. Oh no, 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 he's pulling up that target lock and then boost, yeah, okay. Yeah, he's just, at this point, he just needs to maintain margin. He can't give enough away. He is going to lose Starkiller base pilot uh, probably this round, in my opinion. And with Kylo being 79 points, 
he can't afford to take any more damage on that. He needs to minimize the amount of margin he's going to lose. Yeah, cruising with the iTunes jamming. It's got a, a Spotify playlist ro uh, rolling with all this like death metal. Actually, no, it's probably like Taylor Swift or some shit. <laughs> Hello from the other side. <laughs> Hello from the darker side. Oh, three hits. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Spending that uh, stress with Tendum to turn those up. And that's uh, three more into Starkiller Base. Which leaves two left. And then Braylon got that target lock he's spending from the look of it. For two more, he's just got to get it in. Ah, oh, there it is. Starkiller down. All right, now he's just got 15 minutes to kill Kylo and the other pilot. Okay, and then Tabson is going to open up on Tandem and Ten, uh, or sorry, not Tandem, Braylon. Braylon is going to get hurt real bad. He's going to get two dice. Yeah, he's going for Bray. I'm surprised. Oh, because of the focus on Tandem? I guess. I don't know. That five dice shot versus one dice. I think I feel like I'd rather shoot um, Tandem. But, you know, uh, Dr. Bun knows what he's about, so he's going to re-roll that. Oh, because he had the target lock on him, so there's four hits. Oh. And that is shields down. Oh, no, just two. Braylon still doing okay. Yeah, I didn't realize he had the lock on Braylon, which which worked out really well for him. Yeah, you figure a three straight? Yeah, because he's, uh, he's going to get aggressive on Braylon, I think, and try to ruin his day. And then Tendum's just, Tendum's got to solo the rest of the list. No problem. He's got this. You got to put uh, ten, hit, 10 hits into Tabson and four more into Kylo, so 14 hits in 13 minutes, done. <laughs> no. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen, Patrick. Uh, Tabson moves first. So the, the B-Wings are going to have to respond to whatever Tabson does. And he's double-checking their dials. Remarkably sure that Tabson's just going to drift forward one. I'm just, just a thought. I have a feel. Yeah, no, oh my god, he'd be even better then. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, good point. That edge of his, uh, edge of his base there. Oh, that's tight. You're right, I don't think he's going to clear it. I think he's going to overlap that little bit sticking out. Uh, Kylo, on the other hand, is just getting the fark out of there. He's just taking off. I don't see Kylo being anywhere near this combat right now. Oh! 
A bank instead. Interest. Oh, because he didn't want to end up on the debris. He still wants his actions. <laughs> Advantage templates. Yeah, so the card the worn cardboard ones, eh? <laughs> a little bit of wiggle a little bit more wiggle room in between your nubbins. I, I agree, I think Kylo's turning in. Um, I think Kylo probably hard turn one boost uh, and will finish off what, or not necessarily finish off, but definitely like, oh, ho, ho. oh, I can't, oh, I can't tell because of the slight kilter there, he might not have a shot. It might just be over the back corner. Oof. That's an oof. All right, yeah, and there's 10. No, Bun knows what he's doing. All right. I see, I see a barrel roll in his future. Because he's got that, those linked actions there and a couple of fours. Uh, oof. Personally, if I was him, I would uh, just simply get out. I kind of agree with you there, and I, personally, I would have just gone a forward one instead of the bank one even. Oh, he's barrel rolling out. Someone stole his one bank. No one bank for you. You banned one month. The bank Nazi. So we are, looks like I'm a minute ahead. So we are just under 10 minutes left. So when my timer runs out, there's still a minute left. Because I'm apparently bad at math. <laughs> That's why I play X-Wing, because I'm bad at math. Uh, Kalen here, doing some measures for him. Look at, trying to check for that crack shot, I think. The bullseye. And I think he's got it. Oh, he's checking to see what shots he does have and whether that's over the back of the shuttle. And I couldn't see because his head was in the way, but... Uh, yes, yes, Kalen is from the uh, Vancouver YVR area. Yeah, exactly. Pull a zero. Let that B-wing hang out. Wow. Not great. Not great. <laughs> yeah, he's he's already won, so he's like, I'll just judge. What what does he need another invite to Worlds for, right? <laughs> Pretty much, pretty much, just 
just like strolling the uh, strolling the aisles, being like, "That's wrong." Whack. <laughs> Whew, this is quite the match. Got about seven minutes left. Seven or eight, eight-ish. Oh man, we'd love to have you up here for one. Um, there's not a lot of officially sanctioned events, but we're making more and more of our own events uh, because as far as FFG is concerned, Canada is Toronto and Vancouver and nothing else. Which is a little sad to those of us who live in either Toronto or Vancouver. You should come and check out some of our events on the uh, Vancouver Island. Uh, I've been running an event we call the Mustache Open for the last couple of years. And uh, you, can, you can thank Patrick and uh, uh, Padre for the name for that. Oh, God. To the Canadian shekel? Yeah, it's pretty low <laughs> for us. <laughs> Drinks for the horses. Sounds good. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to warn you now, Canadian beer has alcohol in it. I know you guys aren't used to that with American beer. <laughs> and you get an Upsilon. And you get an Upsilon. <laughs> Everybody look under their chairs. <laughs> well, I, mean, I tell you, if I see you guys at a Canadian event, just come up and be like, hey, are you, you, you're from Geek Tech Industries, right? I'll see about getting you a Canadian beer. We'll see how you do. The other thing with most Canadian beer is they got flavor, too. So, whoa, watch out. Oh, Molson? Get that shit out of here. <laughs> That's what everybody thinks. It's like the same thing. Everybody thinks like, oh, American beer is Budweiser. No, a, a Budweiser's terrible. <laughs> and just like Molson and Labatt are terrible. So the, the city I live in is only about uh, 300,000 people. Um, we have 10 breweries. So we, we make enough beer basically to completely flood the entire town. Oh, hey, Dr. Drea, you're kidding me, you're 4-0? Oh? We'll jump on in here and tell us how that 4-0 oh went. Uh, well, I played Mike Carpenter there, and uh, yeah, he, he just didn't work out for him. The engagement. Oh. Yeah, it was a good game though. So I got Graham, uh, I mean Drea, uh, yeah, yeah, hey here joining back. us for a little commentary. Yeah, you just got to focus fire quick draw and then range one muse with predator and a focus on Oh, because you, you just beat Mikey. Yeah. 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 Oh, poor Mikey, he's going to be so sad. I know. I felt bad, but at the same time I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Zach, I'm, I might take you up on that one day, bud. Andrew Bunn, we're going to know the name from Hmm? I don't know Andrew Bunn. He he's in the circuit, yeah, as it were. Really, really good from, player, up he? from the U.S. Okay. You probably see him on other streams. Okay. But right now he's putting on a clinic on how you fly double ups with Kylo. He just he's it's like he pinned the pinned him down and is slowly plucking off all his limbs. <laughs> Which is pretty incredible because you look at those upslung dolls and you're like they're not really that good like at all but if you fly them right they're just disgusting oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah Who, uh, so he lost oh he just said star killer. he lost star killer okay. he's lost shields on kylo but he's doing fantastic so otherwise. what has he been doing with tabson primarily like what's the first action to reinforce sorry is he reinforcing first with tabson or is he just uh no off? most of the, well uh he would just take whatever he needed a lot of target locks yeah a lot of target locks yeah 
I think mathematically it's said with four dice you have a better chance of getting hits with uh, turtle lock or focus. I'm pretty sure that's a math for this. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm glad to see the two B-Wings are still surviving. They're pretty awesome. Oh, yeah, but that's all that's left. Dutch got beat like, uh, like, oh man, like a redheaded system. stepchild. It was terrible. Oh really? Oh yeah. Uh, and then Leah the went. Uh, Dutch and Leah just sort of went mwomp. Yeah. Fire control system on Braylon is uh, interesting. Yep. Seems like a waste of points. But I I kind of agree. I actually really like collision detector on the B wings. That way you can just uh, yeah. talon roll through debris and, oh, look, yeah. uh, I mean, collision I, detector trick shot is my fave on them. Yeah, I just did it with me and Mikey's game right. did a 2K uh, with uh, 10 yep. over debris. He wasn't expecting it. Get too stressed, and you don't care. And within the same turn, I actually used both of them. So, I mean, they don't really care about the, the, the debris, right? You just bring great debris, and you just fly through it. Yep. Yeah. So is it Andrew's playing the... I'm oh, sorry, thank you. <coughs> so Andrew is playing the. He's got uh, the first gas. order stuff. Yeah, no, he's oh. playing the gas clubs. Mm -hmm. Those, those um, are his the gas clubs. I think those are his. I'm pretty sure those are his. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, would, I would assume the B the B wing player would be playing the. The, the B wings player. love gas clubs because extra die, free turn up. Oh, that's a good point too. Yeah. I just like the the debris for the stress. I think it, it's huge because you can do those two and or like the two turns over top but still get the stress and then you get yeah, the yeah, exactly. and stuff so. And where's Kylo at? Oh, he's over there. Right oh, yeah. Kylo's yeah, just, fun. he's been doing exactly what Kylo's supposed to do, which is Kylo? bait them. Yeah. So he ran the edge of the board up here and then ran down and ran here. So he's just been basically boxing the board yeah. and let the shuttles come in and just ruin the rest of his list. Oh, yeah. Four attack dice, man. It's nothing yeah. to laugh at. That's why Proton's one of the Let's just say, if, if you see Kylo running, don't <laughs> chase him. Mm -hmm. What, what Paul should have done was turn and just completely pour everything into Tab Center of the Star Killer. And How he would have taken a die? response. Huh? How fast did the Star Killer die? Pretty quick? Uh, no, not as quick. A while. Well, because he started with them Fortress here and he started with them touching. Okay. And then went clunk. How many turns did he do that? Once. Okay. Just enough. Yeah. Just enough, yeah. right? Made him come to him. Hmm. Yeah, I've been kind of doing four straights all day. Like Mike didn't expect it either when we played. I yep. just four straight and everybody took the red stress on the two Bs. Darn right. And then turned in to the debris and just, yeah, use it to my advantage. Yeah, uh, I didn't think that would uh, clear. You got a B-Wing bump. And we got 20 seconds left. This is last round. Yeah, Jonas said because my MOV is so good, I should top eight tomorrow. Yeah, buddy. I know. How much exciting. for the dice? <laughs> I'm so excited about those. I'll get the templates too if I get top, yeah. top eight, so that's cool. I mean, I have to use the ones Wes made for me because, you know, they're awesome. Yeah. But those black dice, oh my god, uh, I want them so uh, bad. I wish there was six and not four. That's the thing, it's like, I want six. I want to have a play set of them. Well, that's, that's all we got uh, the year I topped. It was just four dice. Oh, really? Four of each, yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, I guess Although I've lost many... one of my evade dice now, so I've only got three of the sparkles now. Yeah, I guess their idea behind it is there's not many lists that shoot five dice, unless you're playing that. <laughs> yeah. No, no, uh, this is uh, this is Drea. I mean, Graham. Is that D? Who's D? Uh, D. Yoon. Oh, D. Yoon. Is he here? Hmm? He's not here, is he? No. No, I didn't think he was here. D? Come to Vancouver? No. Yeah, he, oh, he's from, he's from uh, Toronto or something, is he? I don't think he's Canadian. No, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Just ignore me, guys. Is he from Seattle? Oh, here we go. Shots. Shots, 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 shots. There's the third. Oh! Rerolling. Oh, LA. Okay, that's quite the waste. Well, we have some people oh, here from like Prince yes. George and yeah, D from else. SoCal. There you go. Yeah, okay. Those bees are in a great spot. He's picking away at tabs and like, they're pointing towards him, right? Looks yeah. Like it. Yeah. Yeah. Both those bees are trying yeah, to pour into tabs and it's not working right now for him. I think Tabson just took one there, didn't he? Because there was three, and Tabson only rolled two. Do you want me to go check? If you don't mind. No. Nope. I'm just going to bump it. There we go. Everybody needs a goblet of dice, man. And there it is. There it is. 100 points 
for Andrew. 56 points for Paul. What a great game. Wow. Tapson Man. took two shields. Tapson so took two, so that was enough. not enough even to bring him to half. So yeah, 101 to 56 uh, for Andrew. Congratulations, Andrew, on yet another decisive victory. I'm either playing that or six A-wings next. Food. I know. I'm good not. luck with that six A-wings. Dude oh. is good with that crap. Yeah. Well, he, he was on the last round, and it was yeah. like, and again, putting on a freaking clinic, man. Oh, I know. Yeah. Well, he just wrecked the guy who was playing Pawn and, uh, and Jake. Just oh, yeah? destroy him. Oh, like good. Because Fat Hand and Jake needs to die in a fire, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, they lose to two dice just going boom, 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 yep. boom. That constantly. Right? You don't, you two do dice it. times six is yep. 12, 12 dice. 12 dice. So. Yeah. Right on, guys. All right, we are going to have a short break here. We'll be back for round five in just a little bit. Don't forget, like and subscribe if you're on the Twitch. Follow us there and uh, follow us on the social medias. Check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash geektechindustries, and we'll see you back on the mats.